Hi, so today we're going to be continuing our examination of signature principal trombone mouthpieces using this following lineup of pieces that I've collected over time. To do a quick roundup of each piece, we have John Kitzman Greg Black model, which is a 5GL with a 277 back bore. It's also very deep cup, it's probably the deepest one of the bunch. We have a Sasha Romero Li Brass mouthpiece from the first generation with a 285 bore on the float. We have an Ian Bousfield S model, again with the two rubber bands rather than one or zero. We have a custom Hammond design for Steve Witzer. And then we have a Griego Alessi 7F mouthpiece. We have a custom Greg Black mouthpiece made after an Alessi design for my old teacher Carl Mazio. We have the new Lasky line, a 60 Symphonic for Joe Alessi. And finally, we also have the Griego 1D, which is one of Alessi's mouthpieces once again. Uh, so we're kind of going small to large here. Let's start with the Kitzman mouthpiece. And today we're going to use Saint Son Organ Symphony Number no. 3, the first excerpt, to kind of get a view of what soft and low playing feels like on these mouthpieces. <sighs> continue with the Sasha Romero piece. With this excerpt I'm really trying to push the low levels of the dynamics as much as possible. Um, being that it's being recorded on a cell phone we'll see exactly what comes out on the other side. And we have the Bousfield S mouthpiece. Oh. Um. 
Next we have the Hammond Design for Steve Witzer. Interesting observation on that. That one let me feel like my air was most tied into the musical phrasing I was trying to achieve. It just felt like um, nothing was backing up or getting shaky at that extreme quiet dynamic in a way that some of the other pieces have felt just a touch to me. It just felt like the air was just straight into the trombone rather than any kind of turbulence. Next we have the Griego Alessi 7F. A deep cup, but a smaller rim than a usual Lessie design. feels very comfortable and very solid, but it also feels like it takes the most amount of air and articulation to kind of get going. Next we have the Carl Mazio custom Greg Black design, which was kind of in the style of the Alessima pieces. It has a whitish rim, but it's definitely a little bit um, shallower than some of the other pieces that I've played. This has possibly the most interesting transitions between notes. I'm really curious to hear what that's going to be like when I listen back and try to hear. It also felt like I had to do the most chop manipulation within the rim of the mouthpiece itself from note to note. 
Next up, we have Joe Alessi's new Lasky 60 Symphonic line. Again, very comfortable mouthpiece. It does feel like it takes a bit of air to get going on the re-articulations and right after a breath, I have to remind myself to just give it that little extra push. And finally, for our last comparison, we have the Griego Alessi 1D, which would be definitely the biggest of the rims. This is probably around a 26.7 millimeter rim if I remember off the top of my head. As befitting the largest rim, I felt like I was doing the most, um, I had the most room to expand and it was kind of the hardest to adapt to. But again, very nice sound and very nice chord. It would just take a little bit more time to feel completely comfortable on that, maybe to some of the smaller rims. Well, thanks for listening. Let me know what you heard. If you had a mouthpiece that you liked in particular, if you have any questions about them. i also like to give a shout out to this amazing horn from Stevens Horns, uh, Steve Shire's new company that really lets me feel super at home on playing basically anything and I've been super happy with. All right. Thank you.